Hey guys, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope you are doing blessed on this terrific Tuesday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same thing for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste, love and light to you. And thank you for coming to see what I'm about and showing your love and support. And if you have not, please like and subscribe. Even hit the notification button so you know I'm about to uh, upload my next video. And if you resonate with my video and want to drop a comment please give me a thumbs up and drop a you know drop a couple of lines i love positive feedback and if you are a returning sub as always love and light to you and many blessings and namaste and thank you for the support and showing your love by coming to see what i'm doing today today my video is about twin flame 101 living a life as an empath oh jesus you see my eyes had to go cross on that one you know, some people, I've heard some people come at me saying, oh, I wish I had that gift. Don't wish that on yourself. Please don't. It's a blessing and a curse at the same time. It really is. And it's just like with empaths, we soak up a lot of energy. And it, you wouldn't be going through something really hard ourselves. You know, everybody goes through stuff. But as an empath, you tend to soak up other people's energy you come right across it's like certain people i could be around yesterday and i was like i was feeling so full of energy in life yesterday you know even though besides the stuff that i was going through i try to shake it off and you know put myself in a positive aspect because it's just like when you're going through stuff you do not really want to be stuck in that blah mood i don't like being stuck like that you know because i i feel like i got too many blessings and too many things to be happy about be sitting up here worrying about some stuff i cannot change but as for empaths, we tend to want to take on everybody else's stuff. Like, we do not like seeing people upset. We don't like seeing people sick. We don't like seeing people sad, you know, and finding these things out. And even I was looking up stuff today um, while I was watching other people's videos. And, you know, I was seeing this one saying, you know, knowing that you're a white witch. And I'm just like, oh, God, please don't tell me I'm like, you know, Samantha <laughs> from Bewitch. Or, you know, something like that, you know, it, you know, charmed or anything like that. But you put, you tend to pick up a lot of aspects like that. You want to heal people. I'm with nature. I know when the weather is about to change. My body will tell me before, you know, they actually try to tell us on the news or, you know, on social media. Hey, today's the first day of winter or today's the first day of summer, fall, whatever. My body tends to know about it anyway. I start preparing for it. So it's just like with us being empaths, we, we tend to want to heal people. We take on energies. It's just sometimes when we get around fake people, we, we get to stuttering. Hands get sweaty. You know what I'm saying? If I uh right now I've been wanting to get some more crystals and stuff like that. So I've been looking at this one girl. Uh she's like a white witch. I forgot what channel her her, her thing is on, but it was very educational. And finding out all these different things as being an empath is just like we have to be able to protect ourselves. So if you're you know, if you're watching my video and you're an empath um there's like protection spells you can do about yourself because sometimes it's like we will attract people that are especially negative and it will drain the heck out of our energy it will make you tired you know you don't want to be bothered and then sometimes you can be around somebody who's aggravating and sometimes i had to stay clear from people like that especially if i see it coming like you can see it spewing out of them when they just you know there's people like that i had to work with and i know that they're like negative dancing and i'm just like oh no Hey, good morning, goodbye, and keep on going. Like, why do you do that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Because I'm not trying to get into it, but I already know you like that. So I'm not about to deal with that and have that spew off on me and have me acting like that because I'm trying to, I'm that type of person to try to brighten up people's day. You know, I'm very, you know, funny. I try to be entertaining at times when I can be because, you know, there's days that's not, you know, real, be gloomy, but you just don't want to stay in that situation you know it's just like you deal with stuff and you recognize it for what it is and then just let it go so it's just like dealing as a life as an empath it can be a blessing and a curse at the same time because it's just like some things we can perceive like if somebody's telling you look you need to you know straighten up your life or something really bad is going to happen when they when an empath tells you that trust me you better believe it because it can happen it really can and it's just like so many so many different things that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis that can really be frustrating really be frustrating so it's just like I always you know light candles and stuff like that and it's just a thing about impasse you know I, I deal with a lot of candles and I like you know lighting them and I say a prayer 
over my candles you know and ask for guidance and ask for you know protection over that because it's like our energy is so fragile at times and it just can be so scarce sometimes so it's just you know really hard to deal with so it's just like dealing with the empath you know learning more about yourself and it's just like they do that too and and I also found out about a white witch. You, you tend to want to educate yourself and learn more about yourself when you find out stuff like that. So I'm just like, wow. You know how many things I'm going to learn about myself that, you know, I got all these different things that I, I do. So I'm just like, wow. Okay. That's good to know. But it, it's just like what us. It, life is not easy being an empath because you really want to heal the world. You really do. And it, it's just like it can put you in a funk. It really can. And it's just like things you, you sometimes we don't want to deal with but it's in our nature to want to deal with it anyway so i'm not trying to hold you guys up today this is like my fourth video i done made today so i'm trying to make them short but sweet so you know hopefully you probably resonate with the video and there's some things that you might even you know i've probably mentioned that you did not probably know about yourself like hey you know i might need to do research on that and if you can probably go on some of my playlists um if i can find a link down below of the things that you know empaths deal with I'll go ahead and put that down there below you might be able to resonate with a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about and I will talk to you later even drop a comment give me a thumbs up and let me know you know hey you know I understand what you're going through and you know I did this too and let me know what your experience is about you know knowing if you're an empath or not and I will talk to you later peace and be wild